now from the travel crossroads of the world in beautiful Hawaii, it's the Diamond Head Game. Starring Bob Eubanks. Thank you very much, aloha, and welcome to Diamond Head, coming to you from the paradise of the Pacific. Now, today I'll be asking two contestants from each of our four islands questions with an international flair. And one player at the end of today's show will enter Diamond Head where there's over $100,000 in cash and prizes. Later in the show, we'll explain how you at home can win a vacation in Hawaii. But right now, as always, won't you join me in saying aloha to the beautiful Miss Jane Nelson. Hi, Jane. Jane's waiting over island number one, and that's where I'm going right now as we pick our first two contestants to play the Diamond Head game today. Now, who wants to play the game today? Hey, Donnie, Donnie, you want to play the game? And Kurt, Donnie and Kurt, yeah, come down here. All right. We've got our first two contestants in just a moment. We'll ask them some questions on the Diamond Head game. Here's what you gotta do. First off, you gotta register. Come on, lift your little finger. It'll take two minutes. Call this number, I swear. I did it myself and I'm no rocket scientist. Now, you sit back, relax, and watch Game Show Network. When you see this come across the bottom of your screen, you know it's time to call in and play. It is that easy, just register, watch, and play. Oh yeah, uh, you can win great prizes from that comfy chair in your living room too. Register, watch, play, and win with Game Show Network. I'll play all day. Welcome back to the Diamond Head game. We've got a couple of characters is what we've got here on the first island. <laughs> Hello, Kurt. Kurt, you can't be from Hawaii. You don't have a tan. That's right. That's right. a long sleeve shirt on. Where are you from? <laughs> from San Francisco. San Francisco. All right, Kurt. Good. And Donnie, Donnie says, I'm not going to do good. Why did you say that, Donnie? I think I'll quit now. <laughs> you can't quit. Stay right there because you're going to be playing for a great prize. And Jim Thompson's going to tell you what that prize is right now. From Sonyo, this four-channel quadraphonic stereo system with four-channel open reel tape deck and eight-track cartridge system set in a modern cabinet. See, you're not going to quit. We're playing for a quadraphonic stereo. Remember, the winner of this island will be competing in our exciting climb of Diamond Head, where there's over $100,000 in cash and prizes. Now, here's how we'll play. I'm going to ask you three questions. For each correct answer, you'll get one point. The player who gets the most points then will be the winner of this island and that fine prize. Three questions. However, yeah, three questions. Mm -hmm. Maybe more. Who knows? However, let me caution you that if you answer a question incorrectly, the point will automatically go to your opponent. And once you buzz in, I cannot repeat the question. So, Kurt, put your hand on your buzzer. Donnie's got the hand, her hand on her buzzer. Here's our first question. Now, we all know that an early American Indian's home is a teepee. Which one of the following is another name for teepee? Wampum, wigwam, or wombat? Kurt, what do you think? Wigwam. Yes, it's a wigwam. That's right. <laughs> you knew, didn't you, Don? You just couldn't get it buzzed fast enough. Right. All right, let's see how you do with this one. Now, wait, this is a true or false, so I need a true or false answer. Now, we've all heard of the famous Indian chief, Sitting Bull. Now, true or false, Sitting Bull's father was named Jumping Bull. Donnie? False. No, it was true. His what? name was Jumping Bull. Kurt, you just won that quadraphonic stereo. Donnie, we have a nice prize for Joe Webb. Screw it in the hotel for you. And thank you for playing the Diamond Head game, Jumping Bull. Game Show Network is truly interactive. Visit us and play along at our website. It's www.sony.com. Or just drop us a line through the good old-fashioned United States Postal Service. Our address is Game Show Network, Post Office Box 805, Culver City, California, 90232-0805. Nelson's waiting for us tonight at number two. We're going to find two more contestants to play the Diamond Head game. Jane, what do you have over here? All right. Okay, Mike, Mike, come on down here. And Bill, Mike and Bill, join me. Let's play the Diamond Head game with these two guys. And Jim, what are we playing for? You'll stay at the beautiful Kona Surf, bordered by Ocean Bay and Golf Course. Fine food and beautiful accommodations make it a truly splendid resort for extended vacationing. And we'll fly you from Honolulu to Kona on Hawaiian Airlines DC-9 jets with onboard service as delightful as the destination. Hawaiian Airlines, more flights to more places in Hawaii. All right. Well, we've got a couple of them this time. I'll tell you, hello, Mike. 
How you doing? Fine. Mike, you're a carpenter, is that correct? That's correct. That's what Mike just told me. He says, I'm a carpenter, that's what I am. Mike, what's your last name? Rob. Mike Rob. And playing against Mike is Bill... Austin. Bill Austin. What do you do, Bill? I'm operating engineer. An operating engineer. All right, fellas, one of you will be our second competitor in our climb up Diamond Head. Now, you know how to play the game, so put your hand on your buzzer. And here we go with question number one. And lovely Jane Nelson, are you going to help me out? No, you're not. You're not helping me on this island. All right, we'll wait a little bit. On this island, we're going to be talking about the largest animal that has ever lived on the Earth. Now, is this the blue whale, dinosaur, or mammoth? What do you think, Mike? A blue whale? It's a blue whale. Yes, it is. All right. Now, Jane's going to come in here. Look what she's got in her hand there. Jane is holding a whale tooth. Now, sailors used to carve pictures on whale teeth. Was this unique art form called boning, scrimshaw, or graffiti? What do you think, Mike? Scrimshaw? Scrimshaw is right. Mike, you just won that inter -island vacation. Congratulations to you, Bill. We have a nice consolation prize from Del Webb's Crew in Hotel. And thank you for playing the Diamond Head game. All right, we have two players on our first two islands. We're going to be back with island number three right after this word on the Diamond Head game. He's been called the Clown Prince of Con Head Game. And now I'm going to join Jane Nelson on island number three, and we're going to pick two more players to play our exciting game today. Irene, Irene, all right. Come on down here and join me. Irene, and let's see. Lori, Lori. Irene and Lori, sure. Come down here. And Jim Thompson, while they're coming down here, tell us what the prize for this island is. It's fun with the Muscan Elgato Mini Cycle. Two cycle Fuji engine, four speed foot shift, full suspension and trail tires from Muscan Corporation. The little old mini cycle is what we're playing for this time. Irene, it is. Irene, and uh, do you live here on the islands? Yes, my husband's in the Navy. He's in the Navy, yeah. all right. Playing against Irene is Lori what? King. Lori King, what do you do? I'm a waitress. A waitress, all right. The winner of this round will join our other island winners to compete in our race up Diamond Head. Remember, if you answer incorrectly, the point then goes to your opponent. And once you've buzzed in, I cannot repeat the question. So here's your first question. There's a famous saint associated with Ireland. Is this Jill St. John? St. Patrick or St. Francis, Irene? St. Patrick. St. Patrick, of course. Yes, Irene got the first one right. Jill St. John, come on. <laughs> Next question now, Laura, you better get this one right. According to legend, St. Patrick did something for Ireland which made life a little easier and more enjoyable. Did he drive all the snakes from the island, open the first brewery, or introduce music into Irish culture? Irene, what did he do? He drove all the snakes from Irene, the island. Irene, you have just won this island. That Elgato motorcycle is yours, and you are the winner of this island. Laurie, thank you for playing the Diamond Head game from Kui Lima Hotel. We have a nice consolation prize for you, and thank you very much, Lays, for playing the Diamond Head game. Be sure to send your postcards in for our home audience game where you can win a vacation for two right here in Hawaii. We're looking forward to seeing you join us over here. Now, let's go to island number four and find our two final contestants today. I almost fell down. Let's see, who's it gonna be? Diane and Tom. Tom up at the top and Diane right there in the middle. Come down here, let's play the game. And Jim, tell us what they are playing for. Bob, it's a typewriter and calculator. A high-powered electric typewriter with power carriage return, tabulator, automatic repeat spacer, and many more deluxe features in a smart carrying case. And a desktop printout calculator featuring accumulating memory, constant and percent, ideal for home or office from brother. Playing for a typewriter and a calculator on island number four, and we have two energetic-looking contestants, and your name, sir, is? Tom Murtha. Hello, Tom Murtha, and... Uh, Diane Lane. Diane Lane. All right, you know how to do it now. Yes. One of you will be our fourth and final competitor in our climb up Diamond Head, and here is your first question. Jane Nelson, come in here and help me out. Look what Jane's holding. It's an item used in a typical French household. Is it used for dusting fine antiques, powdering the face, or buttering pastries? Anybody know? Hey, that's used for buttering pastries. That's butter. What, what's that called, Jane? Do you remember? Bruce the Bear. Of course, it's Bruce the Bear. All right, next question. You're still tied for first place. A young lady is walking through Paris one spring afternoon, and a gentleman reaches over and grabs her by what the French call her bra. <laughs> now, would this be her arm, hair, or purse? I'm not keeping you awake, am I, contestant? <laughs> no, that would be grabbing her by her arm. Now you're tied for last place. Next question. <laughs> You've just arrived in Paris, and a charming young Parisian offers to take you to a place called the Louvre. Now, would this be the men's room, a nightclub, or an art museum? Thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. Nightclub. No, it's an art museum. It's an art museum. That's what it is. Tom, you've got that one right. Okay, now here's a true or false question. True or false? I need a true or false answer. True or false? Napoleon's wife was the famous Marie Antoinette. Diane. False. False. No, that's right. It is. That's correct. What? What? The answer is false. <laughs> oh. That means that you get it right. Yes, you get it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
It was Josephine. Marie Antoinette was married to Louis the Sixteenth. Tom, you Here. have to get this one right, now we're tied. Here it is. Another true or false question. True or false, an ace is a slang term for a one dollar bill. What do you think, Diane? False. No, it's true. That means that, Tom, you're the winner of this island. You win the typewriter and the calculator. Congratulations to you. And we have a nice consolation prize at Dell Webb School Lima Hotel for you, Diana. Thank you for playing the Diamond Head game. Okay, we've got them. We've got our four winners in just a moment. They're going to start that exciting climb up Diamond Head where there's a fortune in cash and prizes at the top. We'll be right back for that big climb. Congratulations to Kurt, Irene, Tom, and Mike because you won some great prizes thus far. Those prizes are yours to keep no matter what happens the rest of the day, but now each of you will now attempt to climb Diamond Head, but only one of you will reach the top where there is a fortune in cash and prizes. Now, here's how you're going to do it. I'll give you a category, and I'll show you a list of words that fit in that category. Then we'll be going around in order, and I'll ask you one at a time to recall a word until one of you is either eliminated by either repeating a word or not responding within three seconds. If all the words are recalled, then we'll play that round all over again. And to make it more fun for you, the next three contestants to make it to the next level of Diamond Head, Jane Nelson will walk out and hand you each a $50 bill. Our starting order was determined by random selection, so we'll go Kurt, Irene, Tom, and Mike. Is everybody ready? Here comes your first category. The category is Cowboys. Reveal the words. Hop along Cassidy, Cisco Kid, Lone Ranger, Wyatt Earp, Roy Rogers, Paladin, Wild Bill Hickok, Matt Dillon, Rifleman, Tom Mix, Matt Masterson, Maverick, Kurt. Wild Bill Hickok. Hop along Cassidy. Tom Mix. Rifleman. Matt Masterson. Cisco Kid. Maverick. <laughs> Was it was it was a correct it was a correct keep going Mike Hickok Hopalong Cassidy Hickok is a, is an eliminated word Hickok is an eliminated word who said Hickok Mike said it okay Mike thank you very much for playing the game though you won the inter island vacation and thank you now Kurt Irene and Tom step up here one level and Jay Nelson hand them each one hundred dollars a piece. No, $50 a piece is what you've got. I'll tell you, though, I mentioned $100, I gave it away because the next two contestants to make it to the next level will each get $100, all right? Now, here we go with our second category. The category is games. Let's reveal the words. Simon Says, Checkers, Charades, Ghost, Scrabble, Badminton, Bingo, Mumbledy Peg, Chess, Spin the Bottle, Tic-Tac-Toe, Backgammon. Irene? Badminton. Bingo. Mumbly Peg. Bing. Uh, checkers. Chess. Tic-tac-toe. Spin the bottle. That gamut. Post office. <laughs> post office? I can see somebody getting spin the bottle, Kurt, but post office is not going to make it today. <laughs> However, Kurt, you won that quadraphonic stereo. Irene and Tom come up one more level, and now Jane will give you $100. Now, you know what that means, that one of you will then have your chance to grab your share of over $100,000 worth of cash and prizes. We're going to find out who that person is right now, because here is your third category. The category Broadway plays reveal the words. Born yesterday, 1776, Old Calcutta, Mary Mary, Hello Dolly, My Fair Lady, Oklahoma, Destry, Plaza Suite, The Music Man, Carousel, Top Banana. Tom? Mary Mary. Hello Dolly. 1776. Carousel. Oklahoma. Hello, Dolly. My fair lady. Hello, Dolly was a repeated word, was it not? Hello, Dolly has been repeated, Irene. I'm sorry. That means that Tom, you've done it. Tom, Tom, step up. Hey, Tom, step up here because you're our finalist. You love to hug those girls, don't you? Tom's going to have a chance to go inside Diamond Head and grab his share of over $100,000 in cash and prizes. We'll get him ready. And right now, let's open up Diamond Head, and there it is. That's where you're going to be, Tom. So we'll get you all ready, and we'll be right back with more of the Diamond Head game. Every player has... And speaking of next, it's Game World Weekend, followed by the newlywed game and the dating game. Thank you for flying, Game Show Network. Tom Murtha, congratulations to you because you've done a fine job today. You won a great prize in your island, and you climbed up Diamond Head, and here you are. Tom, what do you do for a living? I sell real estate. A real estate salesman. Well, you've just climbed some very valuable property just a moment ago on your climb up Diamond Head because, as you know, inside's over $100,000 worth of cash and prizes. And there are some bills in there that go from $50 bills on up and also some bills in there that have some great prizes marked on them. And Jim Thompson's going to tell you about some of those prizes right now. Listen. Tom, inside Diamond Head, you may find a new car. Yes, a brand new 280S Mercedes-Benz with air, power sunroof, cruise control, and leather interior from your cars of Hawaii Limited, worth over $16,000. And a cruise, yes, a 52-day cruise to Mexico, the Caribbean, and South America, aboard a Prudential Cruises Santa Liner. Enjoy uncrowded luxury 
in personal service worth over $12,000. Also, it's a fur coat. The elegant touch of class is this natural whitening, pulling coat from Dicker & Dicker of Beverly Hills. It's worth over $4,800. That's not so bad, is it? Look at that. There's a $1,000 bill I want you to hang on to. There's a $5,000 bill I want you to hang on to. And look at that big guy right there, a $10,000 bill. Tom, you got $16,000 in your hand, bringing our total to well over $100,000 in cash and prizes in Diamond Head. Now, you'll have 15 seconds to grab as many bills as you can, but you can only grab the bills that are in the air. You can't bend over and pick them up off the floor. You can't trap them against your body or anything like that. You got to grab them when they're in the air, all right? At the end of 10 seconds, I will give you a five-second warning. At that five-second warning, if you have any bills in your hand, put them in your treasure bag because at the end of 15 seconds, we're only interested in the bills that you have inside your treasure bag. And I must warn you about another thing too because there are some $1 bills in there and you don't want to get any $1. So Jay Nelson, come up here and help Tom inside Diamond Head. Tom, when you get out, we'll pull out a maximum of 10 bills and we'll play another little game with you. But right now, Jay Nelson is going to help Tom in Diamond Head. And Jim, would you tell me about some more prizes that Tom will be looking for? Okay, Bob. We'll fly him from Los Angeles for a one-week stay at the Holiday Inn Tosco, Mexico, decorated in traditional and colonial style. 160 spacious rooms and suites, golf course, tennis court, and riding stable, the Holiday Inn, Costco. Look at old Tom take a big deep breath. Now, Tom, remember, you cannot start until I say, ready, go. You cannot start until I say, ready, go. And you must stop when you hear this sound. Can you hear that sound? Again, I'll remind you at the end of 10 seconds, I'll give you a five-second warning. So, Tom, if you think you know all the rules, here we go. Hands to your sides now. Drop the $16,000. Fire up, Diamond Head. Release the bills. Ready, go! There's your five second warning, five seconds. And time is up, time is up, Tom. Okay, Jay Nelson, help Tom out of Diamond Head, take off his treasure bag, and let's see what he's got inside. All right, Tom Murphy, come down here. Give me your treasure pouch. Let's go down here and see what you've got inside, all right? Tom says he's got his lucky shirt on today, right? That's it. I'm step a little closer to Tom if you would. Tom's got his lucky shirt on. This is the shirt he got married in. This is the shirt he went inside. Diamond Bros, you got your lucky one on, so let's reach in and see how lucky you really are. And remember, I'm going to draw up to a maximum of 10 bills one at a time. Every bill I draw will be yours to keep. However, if a $1 bill comes up, then the game is over, and you lose everything that you've accumulated. Do you understand how that works, all right? If a $1 bill comes up. So let's just start out, and let's just reach here. And for your first bill, there is a $250 gift certificate. How's that, Tom? Not bad at all. You're on your way. Let's reach in another grab for you. Remember, if a $1 bill comes up, you lose everything you've accumulated thus far. I'll give you a chance to stop or go on anytime you want to stop. You just tell me. Here comes your next bill. Here it is. It's a $100 bill. Now you got $350 in cash and prizes. Let's reach in and pull out another bill and see what you got inside now. We're going to pull out another bill. Remember, if you want to stop, you tell me. If it's a $1 bill, you lose everything. You want to stop or you want to go on? Okay. He says he wants to see another one. All right, there's another $100 for you, Tom. How's things looking now? That's three bills. You've got $450 in your hand. Let's reach in now and pull out another bill. Okay, Tom, tell you oh. what I'm gonna do at this point now. We're gonna play a little game. Jane, come down here and show us your treasure bag. Jane has a treasure bag just exactly like the one you had on. Now remember, you have $450 in your hand. Tell you what I'll do for you right now, Tom. I'll give you this opportunity. I'll let you have what Jane has inside her treasure bag, plus the $450 that you have thus far, and you can go home or you can go on and take this next bill that I have in my hand. If it's a $1 bill, you'll lose everything you've accumulated thus far. But it could be a $1,000 bill, it could be a $5,000 bill, it could be a new Mercedes-Benz. So what do you want to do now, Tom? Tom's looking. What do you want to do? I'll take the pouch. He wants to take and the pouch. He wants to see what Jane Nelson has inside her treasure bag. Jane, what did you have? Yeah, 45 uh, RPM, but it belongs to something else. It's a beautiful stereo that goes along with it. Jim Thompson, tell us about it. From Grundig, the deluxe Mediterranean console, complete with AM, FM, Molaplex stereo radio, three-speed chronograph, and eight-track tape player, featuring distinctive Grundig six-way speaker system from Grundig. That's what you win, a beautiful stereo, and you've got $450 in your hand. It wasn't too bad a deal. You won $450 in your typewriter and your calculator. You won $150 on your climb up there. So far, Tom, today, on the Diamond Head game, you won $1,400 in cash and prizes. And let's see what else you had in here. You had another $100 bill. 
You had another $100 gift certificate. You had two $1 bills inside. So, Tom, you didn't make such a bad deal after all. Congratulations to you. $1,400 is yours. Jane Nelson, come down here. That's about all the time we have today. This is Bob Eubanks and Jane Nelson asking you to join us. And some more lucky travelers who, once again, will be here in Hawaii playing the Diamond Head game. Aloha and bye-bye. Some of the travel arrangements are provided by Continental Airlines. Put yourself into something good. A wide-body Continental DC-10. Go Hawaii with your choice of daily departure. Through your travel agent or Continental Airlines, we really move our tail for you. This is Jim Thompson speaking. The Diamond Head Game is an Ed Fishman Randall Freer production. Some of our contestants today will receive AC Delco to tune up America, quality parts for your car, AC spark plugs, AC oil and air filters, and Delco points and condensers, and... Ditto of California, feel the fit, the hottest jeans in the country. The Ditto fit is unique. Every pair is hand-measured. High risers, banana pants, and quick drawers. And Charm Poet, completely portable gas grill that goes anywhere. Camping, beach, patio, or poolside. Instant clean without starter fluids or charcoal. Charm Glow products. Additional prize furnished by Inter Island Resorts. Prices and models of automobiles may be changed due to availability. The price of the Toyota does not include tax and license. Airfare to Costco is based on high jet economy. Hotel accommodations are limited to certain months and availability. The cost for the cruise and Hawaiian and Kona trips are based on tour prices and are available only during certain months. Game Show Network is truly interactive. Visit us and play along at our website. It's www.sony.com.